As I approach the front of the bus, I want to check the overall appearance of the bus. I want to make sure the bus is not leaning from side to side, which could indicate a broken spring, a flat tire, or possibly sitting in a hole. I want to check all my lights. I want to check my clearance lights, my student flashers, my turn signals, my headlights, and my running lights. I want to make sure they are not cracked, broken, or missing, and they are the proper color. I want to check the school bus sign. I want to make sure the school bus sign is in good condition and readable. I want to check my windshield. I want to make sure my windshield is not cracked, broken, or missing. The only thing in the windshield is the DOT inspection sticker, and it is up to date. I want to check my windshield wipers and blades uh, to make sure they are mounted secure. The blades are in good condition. There's no crimping or leaks in the lines. I want to check my mirrors, both front and side, to make sure they are mounted and secure, not cracked, broken, or missing. I'd like to check my... A DOT bumper to make sure it is mounted and secure and free of damage. I'll check my crossing gate to make sure it is mounted secure and operates properly. I like to check under the bus to make sure I have nothing hanging, no drips or nothing loose. And I'll check the hood. I want to make sure the hood is mounted and secure, opens and closes and latches properly. Now on the right side of the engine compartment, I'm going to check my radiator, my fan, my fan shroud, my radiator cap, and my coolant tank. Make sure everything is mounted secure and not leaking. The cap is tight, and I am at the safe, proper operating level. I'm going to check my belt-driven alternator. I'm going to make sure it is mounted secure with no burnt or frayed wires. I'll check my belt-driven water pump to make sure it's mounted and secure and no leaks. I will check my serpentine belt to make sure it is snug with no more than half to three quarter inch play at the center, no tears, rips, or frays. I will check my oil dipstick to make sure I am at the safe operating level. I'll check my air filter to make sure it is mounted secure, the gauge is in the green. I'll check my windshield washer reservoir to make sure it's mounted secure, it's no cracks, leaks, and we're at the safe proper operating level. I'll do an overall assessment of the engine. Make sure all my lines and hoses are all tied up and secures. No frays, nothing loose, no burns. Now on the left side of the engine compartment, I'm going to check my belt-driven air compressor and governor. Make sure it is mounted secure and no audible leaks. I'm going to check my transmission dipstick to make sure I'm at the safe, proper operating level. I will check my overall engine, lines and hoses, make sure I have no fuel or fluid leaks. I'm going to check my power steering reservoir and cap to make sure it is mounted secure, the lines and hoses are connected, no leaks, and at the proper operating level. I'll check my gearbox the same way, make sure it is mounted secure with no leaks. I'm going to check my frame and cross member, front to back and side to side. Make sure I have no damage, no holes, no rust marks. I'm going to check my drag link, my pitman arm, my tie rod, my tie rod ends. To make sure everything is mounted secure, all the nuts, bolts, and cotter keys are in place. I'll check my springs and spring mounts to make sure they are mounted secure, free of damage. The springs are in line. I'll check my U-bolts to make sure they are mounted and secure. I'm going to check my shock to make sure it's mounted secure, no dents or leaks. I'm going to share my air brake chamber, lines, and hoses to make sure they are mounted and secure. I'll check my brake pads and rotors to make sure they are not worn dangerously thin. I'm going to check my inner and outer axle seal to make sure it is mounted secure and free of leaks. I'll check my rim and lug nuts to make sure um, all the lug nuts are in place. The rim has no weld repairs, no rust trails. Everything is tight and secure. I'll check my mud flap to make sure it's mounted and secure. I'll check my tire to make sure I have at least four thirty seconds worth of tread. The tread is worn evenly with no cuts, rips, tears, or bulges. I'll check proper inflation through the valve stem and cap. 
Now on the side of the bus, I'm going to check the overall appearance of the side of the bus, make sure there's no damage, scratches, or dents. I'm going to check all my lights. I'm going to check my strobe lights, my clearance lights, my turn signals, and my reflectors to make sure they are not cracked, broken, or missing, and they are the proper color. I'm going to check all my windows to make sure they are not cracked, broken, or missing. Next, I'll check all my emergency exit windows. I'll make sure they are labeled properly, outlined in yellow reflective tape. All the hinges and seals are in good condition. I'll check my school bus lettering to make sure it is in good condition and readable, and make sure my cameras are mounted and secure. Next, I'll check my stop arm. I'm going to make sure my stop arm is in good condition, it's readable, the lenses are not cracked, broken, or missing, and they're the proper color. I'll check to make sure that the motor works properly, and all my wires are tied up and secure with no burn marks, no frays. Next, I'll check my fuse panel. I'm going to check the fuse panel door. I'm going to make sure it opens and closes and latches properly. The hinges and seals are in good condition. I'm going to check all my fuses to make sure I have no trip, blown, or broken fuses. Uh, make sure I have spare fuses and make sure I have uh, no burnt, frayed, or loose wires. Next, I'll check my battery box. I'll check my battery box door. Make sure it opens and closes and latches properly. And I'll check all the batteries. I'll make sure the batteries are mounted and secure. All the connections are tight. The caps are in place. Uh, no corrosion, loose, or bare wires. Now, I'll check under the bus. I'm going to check my air tank and dryer. Make sure they are mounted and secure and drained daily. I'm going to check my drive shaft, my U-joints, my carrier bearing, and my safety loop to make sure everything is mounted secure, free of damage, and free of debris. I'll check my exhaust and muffler front to back to make sure it is mounted and secure, uh, no holes, dents, or exhaust leaks. Now towards the back of the bus. I'm going to check my springs and my spring mounts, my U-bolts, my shocks, my axles and axle seals, my mud flaps, my air brake chambers, lines and hoses, my brake pads and rotors, rims and lug nuts. All of these items I would check the same as I did the front. The differences being the tires. I would check to make sure that I have at least two 30 seconds worth of tread. The recaps are not separating. I have no tears, rips, or bulges in the tires. I'm going to check the space between the tires. Make sure the tires are evenly spaced, um, free of debris, and not touching. I will check proper inflation through the inner and outer valve stem and cap. Next, I'll check my torsion bar, my airbag, and my pinion seal to make sure everything is mounted secure and not leaking. As I approach the back of the bus, I want to make sure the bus is not leaning from side to side, which could indicate a broken spring, flat tire, or possibly sitting in a hole. I'm going to check all my lights. I'm going to check my clearance lights, my student overhead flashers, my turn signals, tail lights, backup lights, brake lights, reflectors, and license plate lights. I'll make sure they are not cracked, broken, or missing, and that they are the proper color. I'll check my school bus sign, make sure it's in good condition and readable. I'll check all my windows to make sure they are not cracked, broken, or missing. I'll check my emergency exit door, make sure the door is labeled properly, is outlined in yellow reflective tape, the hinges and seals are in good condition. I'll check my license plate, make sure it's in good condition, up to date, mounted secure and readable. I'll check my DOT bumper, make sure it is mounted secure and free of damage. And I'll check under the bus to make sure I have nothing hanging down, nothing loose, or no drips. Now the differences for the side of the bus. I'm going to check my fuel tank, make sure it is mounted secure, the cap is in tight in place and tight and has no leaks. I'll also check to make sure my impact guard is in place, mounted and secure. I'll check my luggage compartments to make sure they are 
in good condition opened and closed and latched properly the hinges and seals are in good condition with no unapproved items i'll check my loading light to make sure it is in not cracked broken or missing and the proper color i'll check my service doors i'm going to make sure the doors are mounted secure the hinges and seals are in good condition i'll make sure the glass is not cracked broken or missing Next, I'll check my step and step tread. Make sure everything is mounted secure. The tread is not excessively worn with no trip hazards. I'll check the step light to make sure it is not cracked, broken, or missing, and it is the proper color. I will check my handrails to make sure they are mounted and secure. And this concludes the outside of the bus. I'm going to check my five pound fire extinguisher. I want to make sure it is mounted and secure. The pin and seal are in place and the charge is in the green. I'm going to check my reflective triangles. I want to make sure they are mounted and secure. I have at least three red reflective triangles that are not cracked, broken, or missing. Next I will check my body fluid cleanup kit and my first aid kit. To make sure they are mounted and secure and everything that uh, is on the list is included. Next I'll check my driver's seat. I want to make sure the seat is mounted and secure and adjusted properly for me. I want to check my seat belt. I want to make sure my seat belt is in good condition, operates properly, and it's adjusted properly for me. I want to make sure that my seat belt cutter is within the driver's reach. Now I want to check my windshield. I want to make sure my windshield is clean and free of obstructions. I want to check my mirrors. I want to make sure my mirrors are clean and adjusted properly for me. I want to check my student mirror and my sun visor to make sure they are mounted and secure and adjusted properly for me. Next I'd like to do a safe start on the bus. With the bus in neutral and the parking brake set, I'm going to watch for the ABS light to come on and then go out shortly after starting the bus. Check my stand E line, make sure it's in good condition and the decal is in place. I'm going to check all my seats. I'm going to check, make sure my seat frames are mounted and secured to the bus, that the seat backs and bottoms are mounted and secured to the frame. I'm going to check all my seat belts. I want to make sure the seat belts are in good condition and they operate how they should. I'm going to check all these the same. I'm going to check my alley and make sure all the tread is mounted and secure. There's nothing loose. It's clean and there's no trip hazard. I want to check all my emergency exit windows. I want to make sure that they are labeled properly, the instructions are in place, and they operate how they should. I would check all of these windows the same. I'll check my emergency exit door. I want to make sure that the door is labeled properly, the instructions are in place, that the door opens and closes and operates as it should. I want to check all my dome lights. I want to make sure the dome lights are not cracked, broken, or missing. Make sure they are the proper color and that they are properly illuminated. I'm going to check my emergency exit roof hatches. I'm going to make sure that they are labeled correctly and the instructions are in place. There's one here. And one here. Next I will check all my heaters, defrosters, and fans on every speed to make sure they work properly.
time I would check my noise suppression switch. Now I'll check my windshield wipers and washers. Now I'm going to check all my lights. In order to do this properly, I would either need to get out of the bus or ask someone for help. I'm going to check my strobe lights, my clearance lights, my backup lights, my brake lights, um, my license plate lights, and my running lights. Um, I'm also going to check my headlights, high and low beam, and the indicator in the dash. I'm going to check my left turn signal and indicator. I'm going to check my right turn signal and indicator. I'm going to check my four-way hazards and indicators. Next I'm going to check my student flashers and the amber indicator in the dash. Next I'll check my warning lights and I'll make sure the amber indicator has switched to red. Next I'll check my step and loading lights. They're working properly. And now I'm going to check my stop arm, my crossing gate, and my door to make sure everything operates how it should. Next I'm going to check my steering wheel. Make sure I have no more than 5 to 10 degrees play or approximately 2 inches. The steering wheel is adjusted properly to me and the horn sounds. Now I'll check all my gauges. I'm going to check my transmission and my water gauge to make sure I am not overheating. I'll check my oil pressure gauge to make sure I have built oil pressure and I have no low pressure warning lights or buzzers on. I'll check my RPM gauge. I'll check my speedometer. I'll check my speedometer while we're driving. I'll check my volt gauge to make sure I have built between 12 and 14 volts and I have no low voltage warning lights or buzzers on. I'll check my fuel gauge to make sure I have enough fuel for the trip. I'll check my air gauges to make sure I have built between 120 and 140 PSI and have no low warning pressure lights or buzzers on. Next I'll check my parking brake. With my parking brake set, I'll put the bus in drive and attempt to move forward. I'll do the same for reverse. At this time I'll also check my audible beeper. Next I will check the gears. I'm going to release the brakes, put the bus in drive, and move forward approximately one foot. I'll do the same for reverse. Next I'm going to check my service brake. I'm going to pull forward to approximately five miles per hour, apply the brake and take my hand off the wheel to make sure the bus does not pull from side to side. Now I need to reset my child reminder. This time I'd like to do my air brake check. I'll start with the gauges at approximately 90 PSI. I want to start the bus. I'm going to listen to make sure my governor cuts out my air compressor at a range of 120 to 140 PSI. And there it is. I'm going to shut the bus off. I'm going to turn the key back on so my gauges work. I'm going to release my parking brake. I'm going to hold my service brake pedal down for one minute to make sure that I do not drop no more than 3 PSI. Next I will fan my brake pedal. I'm going to make sure that my 
low pressure warning light and buzzer activate before I drop below 55 PSI. Next, I'll continue to fan the brakes to make sure that my air brake parking brake sets and the valve pops out at a range of 20 to 45 PSI. And this concludes my air brake check and my pre-trip.